Does the Bible contain errors and contradictions? It is indisputable that what God inspires cannot be wrong, as He is perfect. Since God is perfect and therefore does not make mistakes, any apparent word of God with even one error or contradiction would be proven false and not the word of God. The Holy Quran is devoid of mistakes and contradictions and does not contain any information confirmed to be inaccurate. On the other hand, because human hands have altered the original revelation sent from God through the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, many errors, contractions, absurdities, and immoralities have found their way into the Bible, even though the Bible prohibits anyone from adding to it. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2. Anyone honest with themselves would identify and understand them, unless they chose to follow their church blindly without applying the God-given gift of intellect, logic, and reason. Many Christian scholars have acknowledged the thousands of contradictions and errors found in the Bible. Many believe there are as many as 50,000 errors within the text. To combat the errors and contradictions found in the Bible, biblical scholars either find a bizarre explanation to justify the verse, or state that one verse is the correct one while the verse that contradicts it is false and not the word of God, although it is found in the Bible. The masses seem unaware of this. The average Christian is ignorant that the book he takes as the word of God contains many errors and contradictions. How can a reasonable, sincere Christian call the Bible the inspired word of God when the Bible contains errors and contradictions? If one error exists in the Bible, let alone thousands, it is enough to determine that this is not the word of God, but instead the word of man. The word of God should be perfect, free from errors on any subject, something no man or any number of men could produce. For the sake of time and the length of this point, I will point out only a few errors in the Bible. One can research the remainder of them online. Here are some undisputable contradictions in the Bible. How old was King Ahaziah when he ruled over Jerusalem? Was he 22 or 42? According to 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 26, Ahaziah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem one year. And according to 2 Chronicles chapter 22, verse 2, it is, Forty and two years old was Ahaziah when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. How about Jehoiakim? How old was he when he became king of Jerusalem? Was he 18 or 8? According to 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 8, Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he became king. And according to 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 9, Jehoiakim was eight years old when he began to reign. Which is it? How can the supposed word of God include an apparent contradiction? Can God be seen and heard? According to Exodus chapter 33 verse 11, Exodus chapter 24 verse 10, Exodus chapter 33 verse 23, Genesis chapter 3 verses 9 and 10, and John chapter 14 verse 9, so Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, It is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. Genesis chapter 32 verse 30. According to these verses, one can see God. However, in John chapter 5 verse 37, John chapter 1 verse 18, and Exodus chapter 33 verse 20, they state one cannot see God. He alone can never die, and he lives in light so brilliant that no human can approach him. No human eye has ever seen him, nor ever will. All honor and power to him forever. Amen. 
1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 16. Who incited David to count the fighting men of Israel? According to 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 1, it was God. Again the anger of the Lord burned against Israel. So he incited David against them, saying, Go and take a census of Israel and Judah. But 1 Chronicles chapter 21, verse 1 states it was Satan. Satan rose up against Israel and incited David to take a census of Israel. Contradictions in the Bible exist because of the insertions of words over time by people who claimed that they received revelation from God with no proof. How many fighting men did Joab report to King David? According to 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 9, he reported 800,000. Joab reported the number of the fighting men to the king. In Israel, there were 800,000 able-bodied men who could handle a sword, and in Judah, 500,000. But in 1 Chronicles chapter 21, verse 5, it states that the answer was 1,100,000. Joab reported the number of the fighting men to David. In all Israel, there were 1,100,000 men who could handle a sword, including 470,000 in Judah. The Bible also contradicts Jesus Christ's genealogy. Matthew chapter 1, verse 16 states, And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So, this verse states that Jesus was the son of Joseph, who was the son of Jacob. However, Luke chapter 2, verse 23 states, now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. He was the son, so it was thought, of Joseph, the son of Haley. In this verse, Joseph is not the son of Jacob, rather the son of Haley. One can conduct an internet search for contradictions found in the Bible to read the rest of many, many errors to be found. The Bible also contains many scientific errors that conflict with the facts we have learned confirmed through scientific investigation. The Bible also contains geographical errors, mathematical inconsistencies, logical inconsistencies, moral inconsistencies, and more. The Bible also contains historical errors, claiming the occurrence of certain events that never happened and predicting certain future events that never happened. The Bible states the creation of the heavens and earth took place in six 24-hour days, as it references evenings and mornings. However, modern science teaches us that the universe cannot have been created in six days of 24-hour periods. The Holy Quran states that the creation of the universe was created in six long terms. The Bible states that the sun and the moon emit their own light. And God made two great lights, the greater to rule the day, and the lesser to rule the night. He made the stars also. Genesis chapter 1 verse 16. However, modern science teaches us that the moon does not cast its own light. This is confirmed in the Holy Quran, which states that the moon's light is reflected light. The Bible states that vegetation Trees, herbs, etc. were created on the third day, while the sun was created on the fourth day. Genesis chapter 1 verses 11 through 13 states, Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day, and God saw that it was good. How can vegetation come into existence, grow, and survive without sunlight? You do not see such errors and contradictions in the Holy Quran. Will they not think about this Quran? If it had been from another other than God, 
they would have found much inconsistency in it. Quran, chapter 4, verse 82.